All right, custom Costco quilt. I broke out the old sewing machine. Uh, got some ultra cheap 700 fill power down blankets from Costco for, I think they're 49 bucks for two of them. Um, and I just started making sleeping bags. I made a custom one for my, uh, my 10 year old son. Made a custom one for me, custom one for my wife. Um, just cause we were sick of carrying super heavy synthetic bags around. Um, this one right here comes in right at one pound after I've added everything. Flip it around here for you. So I sewed on a foot box here where you step into. And I added a snap here. So you step into it. Lay down. Oh yeah. Let's put a little uh, drawstring here. Bring this all the way out. It serves as just a straight blanket. It's nice and warm and cozy. It gets a little cold. You take this snap right here, snap it together. Stick it over your face. Get a little bit cozier. Or take this drawstring cinch it up you can take the whole thing put it over your face you're fully enclosed <coughs> this is super warm I uh, tested it out last night did a little bit of backyard camping with my son um, got down to 41 degrees last night and I was comfortable uh, my son got a little bit cold because he slipped off his sleeping pad and he's a sloppy sleeper anyways. He had legs and feet and hands going every which way. Um, so I'm confident if he would have just stayed inside of his quilt, he would have uh, stayed warm. But um, it's supposed to get down to the 30s tonight. So I'm going to test it um, in the 30s. And this is just with a regular sleeping pad. Just a little, um, I'll, guys, I'll put up a picture to show you guys. Just a little... Uh, the Stay Cool ones from uh, Amazon, they're like 30, 40 bucks shipped. I don't think they have a, a big R value. I've seen a couple videos saying that they have like a 1.3 R value. Not really sure about that. I do know that they're like the minimum comfort level for me. Um, I can roll over on my side on those and still be pretty comfortable, but I have a uh, Thermarest uh, what, X-Therm that should be delivered today as a 5.7 R value, I believe, and I'm super excited to try it out. Um, I'm also gonna be ordering one of the Outdoor Vitals um, insulated sleeping pads. They estimate a four to 4.5 R value. Um, so once I get that in, I'll do a full review on that too and see what temps we could take it down to. I'm hoping with a better R value pad, we could take, uh, take this setup at just one pound, stuffs into a tiny stuff sack and hopefully get down to 30 degrees. So um, I'll let you know how that works. But uh, let me show you how I made this thing. All right, this is uh, the schematics of kind of how I did it. Um, you might want to pause the video and duplicate this unless you have a really good memory. Um, the black is what I started with. It was 14 squares long by 12 squares right, wide. We ended up cutting off three squares and how we did this, we just sewed another seam along this seam all the way down and then we cut right between it. <clears throat> then we took a portion of that and moved it up to the top to make it longer. As you see there. Then you cut out two by three, so six boxes for the foot box see the foot box down there and my wife's I cut out two two by threes and I doubled up the foot box so it's extra warm uh, her feet get cold and then your excess right here you're gonna have nine boxes three strips of three you're gonna put that right into the middle right here I went I went up six boxes um, I'm about five foot eight, maybe a little bit taller, and that height comes just above uh, my knees, 
kind of uh, lower hamstring area. So you could cut this back to like five if you're a little bit uh, uh, shorter um, or maybe add one if you're a super tall guy. But yeah, that's basically how I did it. All right, so this is the Amazon sleeping pad that I'm doing uh, all my temperature testing on for this, uh, this new backpacking quilt. Um, it is uh, just barely comfortable enough for me. Um, I spent a lot of time in the furniture and mattress business, so I'm a little picky when it comes to sleeping. Um, and I really, really like it. That thing weighs in at one pound, uh, which nowadays is a little bit heavy. My X-Therm that's come in, I believe, is, uh, was it 12 or 15 ounces? So just under a pound. Um, and they, they also make, Thermarest makes a, uh, an ultralight version. Uh, it's not quite as insulated as the X-Therm, but, uh, it's only like 8.8 .8 ounces. It weighs nothing. And it's uh, two and a half inches thick. So it's quite a bit thicker and more comfortable than that. So I just wanted to show you this pad that I'm using for my tests. Uh, I won't be using my new X-Therm for any of the tests. Um, that way, uh, you know, people who don't have an X-Therm or a high R-value pad um, can get a good, good understanding of what temperature I can get down to. So, um... I ended up making a additional piece for it, kind of like an overthrow to double it up. Um, it came in right at eight ounces. So with the whole setup, um, you're, you're a pound and a half on the dot. Let me show you here real quick. <clears throat> so I just built in these snaps. They snap on either side of the foot box here. Snaps come up top. One, two, and you're in business. Now you've got a doubled up setup. Um, hopefully get down, uh, get down, you know, under 30 degrees. Not quite sure yet. I'm gonna test it out. Um, I'll do some more videos, so make sure and check out my page. And uh, I'll let you know exactly what temperature I can get down to comfortably with that and um, on this, uh, this Amazon pad. So I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, make sure and like and subscribe to see my new videos that are coming out. I um, plan on doing a lot of reviews here this winter while it's cold. Uh, trying to get all my cold weather gear set up. So um, yeah, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it, guys.